Hello, welcome to Running Python Programs with Text Wrangler on the Macintosh. So uh, I'm here in Google and I've typed Text Wrangler and I can just go to the Text Wrangler website and uh, we're going to download Text Wrangler and we're playing with usability. I guess we've got just a little nice little download button here. Download now. Okay, so we're going to download it right there. That maybe that'll work. Okay, so here we come. Okay, so now it's uh, downloaded and is mounting up the image. And uh, so I'll come over here, and all we do is we drag the text wrangler into applications, and then since I'm not a super user on this account, um, I have to authenticate which means I have to type an account and a password and I've already done this once and so I'm not going to bother copying it but so we'll cancel this but it will copy in and then you'll have text wrangler installed and I can close all these windows and you have text wrangler and I'm going to unmount this text wrangler drive so I have a nice clean desktop so I want to run text wrangler and the easiest way is to start in with Spotlight and do Text Wrangler and click on Text Wrangler when it comes up and so it's going to ask me a few questions when we first start out and it's got this cool little uh, window here which I'm going to close that uh, shows us recently uh, open documents and so I'm going to uh, write some Python code here and I'm going to say print hello world oops I want to say hello world. And now I'm going to save this by saying file save as. And I'm going to, instead of going straight to my desktop, you may not, you might have to push this little button to see these. I'm going to make a folder called assignment zero. And then inside assignment zero, I am going to name my file first prog.py. Now you'll notice that this assignment zero appeared as soon as I made it in the desktop because this folder desktop under places is the same as my desktop. So now I'm going to save my file. And so you'll notice that it does uh, what's called syntax coloring and shows me the fact that it's now got a um, double quoted string in hello world. So now I'm going to run uh, Python. Now there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, first I'll show you the uh, built-in way in Text Wrangler. You go up to here uh, pound exclamation and say run in terminal and this will start up a terminal and then run the Python command interpreter and feed it our program so we say run in terminal and so there's some stuff here this is just sort of cruddy overhead but right here it basically is my output for my program and it says oh in the file users demo desktop we got a syntax error on line one hello world invalid syntax now it doesn't doesn't tell us much about how we might fix this, showing just how not clever Python is, but it certainly knows that we've made a mistake. But we know it's in line one, so let's go back and take a little more closer. We meant to say print. Oh, I forgot the T. So let's go ahead and say T, and we'll save it. Oh, I didn't mean to lock it. I'll just save it. File, save. And then I'm going to run it Python again, run in terminal. And then I see my little Python output. So you've got to realize that everything other than this bit here is the Python output. And I can make changes. And I close each time. Hello there, world. Oops, hello there, world. And I will use the shortcut. Now this command S, there's a little Apple symbol. Apple S will save it. So I'm not going to actually save it. I'm just going to save it with command S. And then I'm going to run it. Oops, I didn't mean to run it, debugger. No way, do not want to do that. Close, die. Say that again. I'm going to run it in terminal. And then away we go, and you'll see that my program has changed. And so we can see that I can run this program and change it over and over. Now, after a while, this will get kind of tiring. I'll hide the terminal, get rid of it. And um, especially when you need to be in a particular directory and if you're opening files. And so you're going to want to run the terminal by hand. 
and learn a few terminal commands. And so I'm going to type terminal. Terminal is, we've actually been using this, but now I'm going to open a separate one. And now I'm at this command prompt where I can type commands. Let me make that a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And one of the commands is ls, which stands for, I don't know, list all my files or something. In Windows, this be dir, but in Unix, it's ls. And one of the folders that I see is the desktop folder there. So I'm going to say cd desktop. And then I'm going to say ls. And you'll see that I have effectively this little folder that I've got there is shown as one of the folders is in, in my desktop folder. So it's a subfolder. So I'm going to go into ASS and, oops, and 0 and do another ls. Now, if you're wondering where you're at, you can always type this command PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory. So I'm in the main hard drive under Users, Demo, Desktop, Assignment 0, and then within Assignment 0, I've got one file, firstprobe.py. If I want a little more detail, I add minus L to my LS, and it can tell me that it's a file, how big it is, when it was created, etc. Now, if I want to run this, I simply type the command Python first probe dot py and python says start the python interpreter and then feed it first probe dot py and then python runs my little program and gives me output now a couple of shortcuts first shortcut hit the up arrow and you can hit the up arrow a couple of times you can hit it a couple times i'm hitting up arrow then i'll hit down arrow and i can run previous commands okay i can also type part of a file name like python fur and then hit tab and it actually auto completes because it knows the file name and it looks at the file name and it says oh fur is the beginning of the only there's only one file that begins with fur so I'll finish it for you and so the command line is pretty easy so if you want to make a change you can just have the command line sitting there in one window um, and make a change and I'm going to just hit Command S to save it, and then I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit up arrow, and I'm going to hit enter. So now I can, you know, make a mistake, like a syntax error. I can hit Command S to save it. Then I can go over here and hit up arrow and run it again, and it tells me, whoa, line two, you've got a syntax error. And then I will go ahead and fix this. Print, sorry. Oops. And so now my now I've got valid uh, Python. And if I hit up arrow and hit enter, it says two lines. Print sorry. Now you'll also notice that it's doing what's called syntax coloring. It's showing us what parts keywords, what parts not a keyword. Word. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I had the mistake, it was black because blue means it's a Python keyword. Print is just text, so it doesn't really know what we meant by that. And then when I get the syntax right, it turns blue. Uh, it's it's not really critical. It's just it helps you uh, understand what's going on. Syntax coloring gives you good clues. You can see what line you're on uh, down here in the lower left hand corner, what line you're on, what column you're in, and that can actually help you as you look at syntax errors when it tells you, oh, this syntax error is on line two. So that gives you a good start to using uh, downloading and installing TextEdit and using it to do Python on uh, on uh, Macintosh. Thank you.